Randy Cavanaugh from the Armored Garage here, and welcome to the first part of my Daredevil build. So a few months ago, I started a Wolverine build for Emerald City Comic Con, and I had plans to document the whole process, but I got so busy finishing it for the con that I didn't have a chance to document the way I had wanted to. And since then, I've had a lot of requests uh, from people asking, how did you build that costume? Uh, can you give me any tips? Um, just lots of questions uh, about the build itself. So what I decided to do was build an entirely new costume using all the same techniques that I used on Wolverine. This way I could document the entire process and show you guys, the viewers, uh, exactly what I did to build that costume. And that way you can follow along at home and feel free to ask any questions throughout the build process. Okay. So the first step is to draft some patterns to use for our costume. Uh, I use 3D Studio Max uh, to create these, so why don't we go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Okay, uh, so I started off inside 3D Studio Max with my base Wolverine pattern that you can see here on the right. Uh, to come up with my Daredevil templates, I followed a few different pieces of references that I had gathered to draft up the final Daredevil pattern uh, that you can see here on the left. Uh, I did this using the spline tools that are inside of 3D Studio Max. Now I'm just going to quickly gloss over these concepts, so if you have any questions, just drop me a message inside of the comments. Okay, uh, so what I did was I created a new line by going to the Create tab, clicking Shapes, and then choosing Line. And then you can just kind of trace out basic outline that you want to make for your armor. And once you have the basic shapes, what you're going to want to do is click over here on the Modify tab. And then you can go in and edit the general shape. And in order to get all the, the nice curves that I have, what you do is click the little vertex button here and then select all the vertices and switch them over to Bezier Corner by right clicking and then clicking on Bezier Corner. And what that's going to do is give you all these little green handles whenever you select a vertex it allows you to manipulate the curves of this spline. So I'm just going to go in and quickly for demonstration purposes kind of edit this. Sometimes it can be tricky because if it's right on the gizmo, it can be tough to edit. And then um, after you kind of build up this shape, you, you eventually get to something that you want. Uh, what you're going to want to do, and I'll demonstrate this over on my Daredevil armor, is select the piece that you're ready to export, and then go back to the Modify tab, and right-click on Line, and choose Editable Poly. And what that's going to do is turn it into actual geometry that you can then export and bring into Armorsmith. So now I've already done that. And after bringing it into Armorsmith and unfolding it, I now have all my templates here on the right that I'm ready to print. So uh, let's jump over and take a look at what's next. Okay, so here we have the templates for Daredevil's chest armor. Uh, what we're going to want to do is uh, get these all cut out, and then I'll show you how to trace them onto the foam. Okay, I'm just going to use a pair of scissors to get these cut out, so let's go ahead and do that. I always like to leave a little bit of uh, room on the edge so that I can tape the templates together after I'm finished cutting them out.
right, so we need to just uh, clean up some of those edges uh, where the pieces get taped together, but aside from that, those are the templates for the chest, uh, at least one side of it. So I'm going to go ahead and start tracing those out onto the foam, and you can take a look at how that all goes. Okay, so now that we've got all our templates cut out, the next step is going to be to trace them onto the foam. Uh, I'm just going to use a bunch of these spare pieces of foam I have left over from my Wolverine costume. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and get started with that. Uh, this guy, I'm actually going to want to make just a single piece, so I'm just going to flip that over and trace it right next to it. Get that all lined up straight. Perfect. All right, there we go. All the pieces of uh, foam have been traced out, so now we're gonna start cutting those out. Look at that, my butter. I forgot how great a new X-Acto blade is. So I'll probably be wearing this guy at uh, Fan Expo Vancouver, which is sometime in November. Um, hoping to bust out this guy as well as my Wolverine. So if you guys happen to be in my neck of the woods, make sure to drop on by and see if you can find me. It's always a lot of fun. Met so many great people at uh, Emerald City this year. Probably the most fun I've ever had at a con. It was ridiculous. Just so many great people. Okay, so here is all of the initial pieces for the chest armor for Daredevil. Uh, the next step that we're going to want to take is to um, dremel down all the edges of the foam uh, and heat them up to give them a nice rounded look. Okay, I think that's where we'll end it for today's episode. Uh, next episode, we'll go over finishing the rest of the chest. Alright, so if you have any questions about the build, uh, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll be sure to reply. Uh, if you want to see some of my other projects, uh, check out my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash the armor garage and if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content thanks for watching